Today, I'll share a simple hack for adding separate URL links to each image using Elementor's Image Carousel widget. Considering this has been one of the oldest feature requests within the Elementor community, changing this to custom URL still doesn't give us additional options to work with beyond a single field, which applies the linked URL across all selected images. To get started, I presume you've already added and styled the image carousel widget within your design canvas, so I'll get straight to it. First and foremost, I've added four images within this carousel, and I'm mentioning this because the steps outlined in this video apply to these four images. Knowing this should help you understand how to replicate the same results for the number of images you may have selected. Speaking of prerequisites, we need to change the link from custom URL to none, as we don't want this affecting the code snippet we'd be using shortly. Lastly, open the additional options to ensure the infinite loop is turned on. Once that's done, let's assign a CSS class to this widget by switching to the Advanced tab. Then enter the text carousel hyphen links into the CSS class field. Moving to the final steps, let's head back to the widgets panel and search for HTML. Drag and drop this directly above the image carousel widget. Then copy and paste the code provided in the video's description into this field. Upon previewing these changes, when I click on one of these images, we should see that the code snippet has been successfully applied to our design. However, the links are currently set to redirect to predefined URLs. To change them, head back to Elementor's page builder, and upon a closer look at the code snippet, you should find the URL links start with one and end with four. Changing and adding corresponding links to the number of images selected within this carousel is as easy as replacing them with the ones before us, but it requires that we obey the rule of inserting the link we wish to add within the single quotation marks. Additionally, the commas here help separate the links for each image. So assuming you have more than four images selected within the image carousel, you can easily copy and paste the last URL address below it. Above this is the CSS rule applied to the cursor pointer, which changes the cursor to display a hand icon on hover, indicating that each element is clickable and interactive. Before wrapping this up, you may have noticed that clicking these images prompts the links to open in a new tab. Perhaps you would prefer the link to open within the same tab. You can apply this change by replacing the rule from Windows to the semicolon symbol with the following code. You should also find this linked in the video's description. And that's it for this video. If you have additional questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll make sure to respond to them. Thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next one.